Oh, Gresh, you know, we uh, we talked to Coach Spavadol yesterday, and he was saying that it's it's the quarterback competition is kind of between you and Tyler Vitt mm -hmm. at this point. Um, do you, can you kind of feel it heating up a little bit for uh, for who's going to get in there and start under center? Uh, yeah, you just try to take each, each rep at a time. Um, I know both of us want to play and stuff like that, but, you know, just go out there and support each other, and you want to see the other guy do good, and uh, it just helps our team get better, and um, it's, it's good to see. You know, it's um, – you know, first first fall camp here at Texas State. Have you kind of what's been the adjustment like here? Is it uh, is it been kind of the same deal you were looking at in Montana with State, or is it kind of like a whole new deal? Kind of talk us through that. Yeah, just the adjustment to Texas in general. I mean, it's been it's been different. You know, coming down here in, in the heat and stuff, and um, you know, it's been such a year of transition for me. Um, so it's it's kind of weird to kind of be settled down for more than six months. You know, it's just been so used to being on the go and. Um, but and then as far as like the offense and stuff goes, yeah, there's a lot of new things that he's putting in, and um, a lot of the stuff. I mean, you just kind of see it's kind of trial and error, see how it goes, and then um, if it sticks and it w looks good and it works, then we'll we'll stick with it. Otherwise, we'll just kind of scratch it. But um, it's been a good blend of of new things and um, a little bit of the old too. What do you think you bring to the starting quarterback position if you were chosen? Um, I think experience. You know, I think knowing the system obviously helps. Um, being there w w with the past, and then um, also you know the new stuff too. It can kind of help move things along a little bit, make sure we're on the same page. And um, and then obviously playing a little bit too. I think I, I uh, have pretty good experience of going to new new places and a lot of different um, teams and, and c cultures and things like that. And just kind of bringing that stability, I think, is what I bring to the table. So, you know, you just talked about how despite the competition, you guys are still supporting mm -hmm. each other. Could you just talk about the camaraderie in the QB room throughout this whole process, despite the fact that every time you go out there, you know, you're trying to prove you're the best guy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's just, you know, your friends, you know, you, you support each other and it, it, you're a team. You really are a family and you see each other every day and you do things together. And it's just you just go out there and you're, you're learning, too. I mean, each each rep's a new new look or something. And um, you've, you're just trying to get get better. And that's that's kind of what it comes down to is just trying to make the team better and um, I think just staying together as a unit really helps bring us um, to a new level, and um, it's good to, to help the offense, too. Uh, Coach Stitt said that you were one of the most prepared guys that he's ever seen at quarterback. Um, what What is that like? What, what, how do you, what do you do pre to prepare? Uh, I think it's you know, film, obviously, and then studying and um, just try to be on the same page with him. Uh, making sure we're seeing the same things, you know, you have to make sure everything's in, in, in line. You can't go out there and just, uh, you know, kind of kind of make sure that he might be looking at something else. He might be looking at something else too. Um, so you have to make sure that, that everything's working together. It's in harmony and um, things are working with the receivers. And I mean, it really is. It takes all 11 guys to make a play work. Um, so I think that that's just kind of what it takes. So, Coach Stitt was talking about how close it is a battle between you and Tyler Vitt. Um, can you just feel, can you talk about how close it feels just to be in that competition and how, like, you just can kind of feel it really heating up right now? Yeah, obviously, I mean, you know, each rep you're like, God, you know, hopefully I didn't do nothing wrong. But uh, um, I think that I think that's good. I mean, it helps make you uh, try to be perfect as best as you can. And, um, and I think it's, you know, he's doing a great job. He really is. And uh, it's helped make me better. I know that. And hopefully I've pushed him a little bit too. And, um, you know, it can only make us better as a team. I know you're definitely about your assignments and whatever you're um, looking at mental rep wise, but who do you like throwing to? Who's some of these guys that are catching the balls from you that um, seem to have a lot more impact than others? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's like it, they have so many athletes in that room. It's just like you're just trying to get see, see which guys do good at certain things. You know, um, it, it's really exciting. I, mean, I get excited when I, when I start talking about receivers because there's so there's so many of them, and uh, you know they they do really do a great job. You know, you might have a guy that's quicker, and then a guy that, that's more like jump balls and. Um, just let them body a guy up, and um, it's just being consistent, finding those same reps, um, and going out there and executing. Do you guys feel any anxiousness or urgency about when or who is going to be named the starter? Um, I, I think you know, I just obviously you know, you try to you try to know as soon as you can. I mean, that's just because <laughs> you want to you just want to get it done. But um, no, it's 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 been really good. I think I think it's been good. It's kind of their decision what they're going to do with it. Um, but you know, you just try to go out there each day, and whatever happens, happens, and you just keep pushing yourself to get better and keep trying to push the offense and the team. Have you ever been in this kind of situation before where it's it's taking a while for somebody to uh, take yeah, a I tough mean, spot? I, I, had a, I had a few competitions, you know, at Montana, they brought in a guy uh, and, you know, it, it was just kind of back and forth type thing. And uh, and then obviously going to another college too, at, at my junior college and that's back and forth too. So it's kind of takes a while to get these things played out. Um, you just try to keep doing the best you can and let the team, whatever happens, you know, you just got to keep playing and uh, doing the best you can.
So talk about um, your counterpart directly, Tyler Vitt. Uh, what exactly does he bring to the table, and what do you what are you trying to compete with him in, like exactly? Yeah, I mean, I think he's he's really intelligent. You know, he he picks things up really fast. Um, he understands what 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 they're doing and what we're trying to do as an offense too. Uh, you know, and he, pl he plays throws a really good ball. Um, you know, he's 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 a really good player, and uh, it's it's really been good to help push me along too. Uh, you know, I think he's just doing good. And um, what was your second part of that question? Uh, I think you know just the, what differs me would probably be, um, you know I, I think he, he he runs the ball pretty well. You know he's definitely got some wheels on him, and um, and you know e each guy has their own strengths and weaknesses, and um, you just try to maximize the strengths and limit the weaknesses. <laughs> In your opinion, what does it take to be a starting quarterback? Um, shoot, to be a star, I think you got to make sure that that you, when you set the example. Uh, you know, you, guys are looking at you and, and how, how you interact with got, with people on the team and um, just around in the city. Um, you got to be that, that that example of the, the, the leader as far as just like going out there and sh showing. You got to lead by example. Um, and then also, there's also another vocal element of making sure everyone's on the same page and then going out and executing. So there's a lot that goes into being a quarterback. I mean, it's not easy, but um, you know, it's definitely fun. You know, uh, we were talking to Coach Stitt about the offensive line and how it's, it's it seemed that first unit is starting to really solidify. Mm -hmm. Have you kind of seen some cohesion with that group and uh, some improvement from them mm -hmm. since the beginning of camp? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Coach McGuire's done a really good job with those guys. Um, and just, I mean, just the offense in general from where we were in the spring and then summer and now through fall camp. I mean, it's it's just been it's been such a, a great um, improvement and all around. And it gets me excited, you know, just being, trying to be a part of that. And um, hopefully we can just keep that thing going and, keep getting better each day and um, take it one step at a time. Just one of the other guys that Coach Stipp mentioned who came in with you this year. Obviously, his situation is a little different because he's a true freshman and mm -hmm. Cedric Case. But could you just talk about what you've seen from him walking into this situation? Yeah, Cedric throws a really good ball. He's got really good touch. Um, and he's smart, too. You know, it's, it's tough to come in as a, as a freshman and try to figure things out. And, um, you know, he's done a really good job throughout the summer. And then um, through camp, whenever he gets his, his chance in there, he's done a really good job. And, um, you know, I think he, he'll, he'll be a good one. You know, he's, he's going to keep going through the process. And um, I think he's going to be a good one.